Hello and welcome to this RTS tutorial video where I'm gonna show you how to create movement for your RTS camera. The project that I am using is completely blank project without anything. So first let's create a new folder that will be called game. Let's open it and we will need to create three things. First one will be blueprint class of a game mode. It will be called RTS game mode. Second one will be blueprint class of a player controller and it will be called RTS controller. And the last one will be blueprint class of a pawn that will hold our camera that will be called camera pawn. Now let's open the camera pawn and let's set the camera. So add component of a type spring arm and also camera component in the spring arm right here. And let's click on the spring arm and set the target arm length to 800 and rotation of Y to minus 70. Also a collision test will be set to false. Compile, save and close it. Now let's go to the RTS controller and go to the event graph and we will need to set a macro right here. The macro will be called cast references macro will be just for the purpose of having any reference that we will need. So it will have the input of the type execution and also an output of a type execution. And we will need to get player pawn, cast it to camera pawn and set the return value to a variable that will be called camera pawn reference. Now let's go to the event graph and set this macro to event begin play. And now we can start creating movement for the camera. So let's create another macro. This time it will be called screen edge movement. It will have two inputs of a type execution. First one will be called mouse X and second one will be called mouse Y. It will also have three outputs. One will be return node of a type execution and another one will be delta x speed of a type float and the last one will be delta y speed also of a type float. Now for the movement we will need to get mouse position and also get viewport size. We'll need to break the viewport size vector and now we'll need to get from the mouse position location y and divide it with float of a vector 2D from get viewport size. And now we will compare if it's more or equal than 0 0.975 or if it's less or equal than 0 0.025. These values represent the edge of a screen. So if you want your movement to start sooner, then change just these numbers. And we will also need two branches right here. Now set the mouse Y to first branch and set the false of a first branch to another branch. Also set the comparing nodes to the branches. And now we will need to create three new variables. First one will be called edge move speed X. It will be of a type float. And second one will be edge move speed Y. And the last one will be move sensitivity. The value of these variables will be five and the and move sensitivity will be one. Now let's set the edge move speed X three times. First one will be minus five. Another one will be five and the last one will be zero. Now let's create the reroute node and hook everything there. And then just set it to the output return node. For the delta y speed, we will need move sensitivity also with edge move speed y. And we will multiply them together. And then just set the return value to delta y speed. And for the mouse x, we will do the same thing. So just copy this part right here and paste it here. The only thing that will be changed is uh, location y will be location x and y from the vector will be x from the vector and also here we will set the edge move speed y three times again first one now will be five second one will be minus five and the last one will be again zero now let's again set it to our reroute node right here 
and the delta x speed will be mouse sensitivity edge move speed x and again a multiply multiplication of both of them now with this macro set up we can go back to the event graph and we will right click and type mouse x of a mouse events and also mouse y now let's drag the screen edge movement macro right here and set the mouse x to mouse x and mouse y to mouse y and let's get our camera upon reference and type add actor to local offset set the return node right there let's split the delta location pin and set the delta x speed to delta location x and y to y we successfully created a movement for our mouse and now we need to create a movement for our keyboard so let's go back to the map and settings and project settings go to the input and we will need two axis mappings right here both of them will have another axis mapping group and first one will be called move forward second one will be move right and the axis mapping will be up on a keyboard down on a keyboard right and left the down and left will be minus one now we can close the project settings and go to the rts event graph right click and type move forward and also move right now we will to create a pure function so let's create a function that will be called movement speed calculation it will be of a type pure as i said and it will be really easy we just need a camera upon reference we'll get a spring arm now we will get the target arm length and we will divide it by 100 and then we will clamp it with float now we need to create an output variable called move sensitivity and the return value of clamp will be move sensitivity now we need two more macros so let's create them first one will be movement x it will have three inputs of a type float and one input of a type camera pawn it will be called camera reference this one will be speed multiplier second one will be move sensitivity and the first one will be axis value and we will have also a one output of a type transform that will be called transform now for the macro we'll want to multiply the axis value with move sensitivity and then we will need to multiply the speed multiplier with the return value of this multiplier and we will make vector now from the camera reference we will need to get actor transform and we will need to break the transform also with transform direction the transform direction will be our return value from vector and then we will need to add the location vector with the return value of transform direction and now we will need to just make transform the rotation and scale will be from the previous transform and now the return value will go to the re output transform now let's copy the whole macro and let's create another macro which will be called movement y the inputs will be same now let's paste it right here and we will need to set it exactly as the one before so axis value with move sensitivity speed multiplier will be here the only thing that will change is from make vector we will set it to y and not x let's hook the camera reference to get actor transform and set the return value of transform to output transform let's compile save and go back to event graph now let's drag the movement x and movement y now we need movement speed calculation move sensitivity and also camera pawn reference let's set axis value to axis value move sensitivity from movement speed calculation to movement sensitivity move sensitivity to speed multiplier and camera upon reference to camera reference the same thing will be done in the movement y and now from camera upon reference we will set actor transform and the actor transform will be from movement x and movement y let's get back to the movement speed calculation because i forgot one thing the 
clamp float right here will need to have a minimum of 5 and maximum of 20. And let's go back to the event graph and we will need to set our mouse to be visible. So let's just show mouse cursor and set it to true. Now the last thing we need to do for it to work is go back to our RTS game mode that we created and we need to set the player controller class to RTS controller and the default pawn class to camera pawn. And the very last thing is in a world setting we will need this RTS game mode right here and not none as we had previously. Now when we hit play we can see our camera right here and when I go near corner with my mouse you will see the movement of a camera. And also when I will move my keyboard you can see I can move it fairly easily even without a mouse. So this is it. I hope this tutorial somehow helped you and thank you for watching and bye.